Hi everyone, back again. I've got a couple things I've added here. I've added a fifth stage to the uh, setup. I've got a uh, choke on the input and uh, an extra coil on the output. And um, I've got a scope probe across the uh, output uh, current. Uh, so we've got 29 milliamps uh, is the number it's popping up there. And uh, we're going to just put this now across the output. Thirty two point seven volts RMS and uh, twenty five milliamps. Okay, so now we will put the probe on the output, or sorry, the input. And there's 71 millivolts, so 71 milliamps. And I'll read across here if I can really get it. Seven point. Eight four volts RMS. Okay. Anyway, it brought the uh, current down, putting this uh, choke inductor choke on the front, and um, the uh, output seemed to like having this uh, coil on the output, and it's pretty sensitive to. Uh, It's dampened when you uh, put your hand on it. Might not be too visible, but uh, I guess at different frequencies it make, makes a difference. Um, so right now it's at about 568 kilohertz. Um, I'm trying to uh, lower the frequency to get out of the AM radio band, but uh, I've got, uh, you know, I'm limited to these caps here. Otherwise, I could use some 30 microfarad caps, but uh, that would just mean doing a whole new setup. So, yeah, I like having this inductor on the front, this extra coil in series with the output. So it comes out here through the coil and to the output there. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. It's interesting how we start with a square wave as well and end up with a fairly decent sine wave at the output here. I guess it depends on the load. And adding this extra coil really actually kind of brought it closer to a square with that shape there. And the Current probe. I'll try to zoom in a bit more. Yeah.
pretty good oscillation. Alrighty, talk to you guys later. Bye.